Does Yeshiva University welcome LGBTQ students in its undergraduate schools? As a current undergraduate student at Yeshiva University, I would personally have to argue that the answer to this question is complicated. I'm gonna have to say no. Not really. Absolutely not. Unfortunately not. No, I wouldn't say that it does. It certainly wasn't when I was there. No. I wish it were. But I never felt accepted as an LGBTQ student. Sure, it admits LGBTQ students into its undergraduate schools, but once we're there. It's a mixture of when you feel like you're welcome and when suddenly you realize, oh, I'm not welcome. When I was there, there was so much homophobia that was rampant in classrooms among students and all of the meetings that we had took place underground. The fact that it was introduced to me as being called the underground, so secretive, like that in and of itself speaks volumes. We operated in constant fear of being caught, of being outed. And the truth is, if people are afraid to come out in your school or in your institution, that means that you don't welcome those students. When I was at Stern, I was barely out to myself as trans and was so uncomfortable that I spent most of my time at Stern hiding away in the science labs. There was really a culture of, this is the last thing you should be, you are not this, and if you are, your life is not allowed, not halachic, not in acceptance of Hashem. We had to fight for everything. What YU fails to acknowledge is that students begged and pleaded and set up meeting after meeting. And at every single opportunity, YU turned them down. We had to fight the administration, the counseling center, the rabbis, sometimes our professors. The conversations that the students are having with the administration are the same conversations that were happening 12 years ago. So how dare Yeshiva University claim that they are welcoming of their LGBTQ plus students using examples of things that we had to fight them to have on the YU undergrad campus. A heterosexual member of this Jewish community is not going to be actually the best expert on what the queer students' needs are. Um, the queer students are going to be the ones with that information. If they say that they are going to be welcoming of LGBTQ students, then why go out of their way and do everything in their power to prevent a warm, welcoming, inviting space for those students? And I think it'd be pretty hard to believe that if the university is fighting a queer student group this hard, that it is really a welcoming place. To misrepresent our experiences as LGBTQ people in your undergraduate is the opposite of welcoming or accepting. Yeshiva University cannot speak on behalf of its queer undergraduate students, especially the ones who are too afraid to speak up because of the environment that YU has created. Maybe one day you will be a welcoming and accepting space, but this is not the way to build to that. So Yeshiva University, you gotta do better because what you're doing is not working.